different emotions, a lot of different things that went on in this game. You know, I can talk about, you know, the poise of Masahiro to come in here in a hostile environment and, you know, shut down one of the most potent offenses in the league. You know, that's one thing we could talk about. You know, a couple huge double plays in the infield that we turned and then just timely hitting. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing. But it was a fun game. You know, we just had a game plan and stuck to it. Aaron, that Alvarez ball came off the bat very hard. Just how difficult was that play? And you mentioned double plays in the infield. What's the level of satisfaction when you double up Bregman there on that play? Oh, that was huge. Uh, he, he smoked that ball to me, and I kind of almost slipped in the outfield on something and, you know, caught it. And right when I looked up, I just looked at first and saw DJ throwing his hands up and just kind of winged it to him. And he made a good play over there to, you know, get Bregman. But it's just trying to capitalize on little things. That's the biggest thing. What can you say about the pick DJ made on that play? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. I just kind of chucked it in there. I kind of just winged it, and he, you know, made a good play. You know, you got a guy coming in, sliding in, and it's going to be a close play. But, you know, he... He made that play right there. A play like that, how much satisfaction does it give you compared to the offensive side of the game? Yeah, just just especially in the situation. You know, the crowd was starting to get into it. They had a guy on base, and you know, especially with one of their power hitters up at the plate. You know, he drove a ball in the gap, and you know, just being able to you know kind of shut down that inning was huge. You know, just get those two outs and get Massa back with nobody on base and two outs. You know, I was just excited about that. Aaron, all the RBIs. He gets his first one on the road. Yeah, game one's the most important. You know, that's, that's what I've said for a while now is, you know, game one's the most important. And, you know, especially to come in here and, you know, beat them at their own house, that, that's huge. Especially knowing we got one more game here than three at three at home. So, um, yeah, we went out there, just did our job, and you know, now it's time to get ready for tomorrow. Aaron, all the RBIs tonight came from guys who weren't on the 2017 club. Talk about how this team is different from you were when you were two years ago. Well, there's a lot of things we could talk about. You know, overall, you know, we're just a better ball club. You know, pitching-wise, we're better uh, offensively at, at each position, man. We just we just got guys that can leave the ballpark at any time, but they know how to work the count. You know, that's what makes this team so special is guys that can work the count, get on base, and they're so unselfish that they'll take the single when they need it and, you know, kind of pass it to the next guy and let him do the damage. So, yeah, I could talk to you for hours about, you know, how we're different. But we're just, just a special special group we got here. So i uh, excited to get that first one. Aaron, with how well Glaber has played during the regular season, now in the postseason, is it to the point where you almost expect it when he steps to the plate that he's going to make something happen? Yeah, always, always. You know, and he actually, um, we, have, we give out that belt, you know, after every win. And he came up to me before the game and said, hey, I'm getting the belt tonight. You know, so I said, all right, we'll see about that. And I know you're going to have a good game, but we'll see. And he, you know, he proved it tonight. You know, just comes in every day ready to work and just doesn't care who we're playing. You know, it doesn't care if this is a big situation. If we're playing the last place team, he's he's going to go out there and produce. And Brendan mentioned the pick that DJ made on the throw from you. He made a couple tonight. I think he played just one, started just one or two games in his career at first base prior to this season. Have you been impressed with how seamlessly he's moved over to that position? Yeah, definitely. And definitely moving around, moving positions is tough, you know, especially in the infield. You get different balls that at you, different situations. And, you know, for him, I know he's a gold glove, you know, second baseman, but he should be a gold glove, second baseman, third baseman, first baseman, you know, from what I've seen him do. And, but I see him every day working on that. You know, and BP is over there getting throws from guys, you know, asking guys to bounce it so he can get used to it. And it's, uh, he's glad we have him. <laughs> yeah, how impressive was Tanaka tonight in your mind? How impressive? Uh, great, you know, especially getting strike one. That's the biggest thing with a team like this is getting strike one. He was able to work that splitter and slider. Uh, basically put it wherever he wanted, you know, bottom of the zone, out of the zone. And, you know, when you're able to get strike one and be able to put your pitches where you want on a team like this, you're, you're going to have a good night. Aaron, you know how difficult this place is to win here from this year for the playoffs two, two years ago. Does it kind of feel like you got a monkey off your back coming in here, winning game one to, to kind of send a statement that you guys can win here? Uh, I feel like we can win anywhere. You know, I never, never felt a monkey on our back or never felt, you know, like we couldn't do something, you know, especially with the team we got. This is this is a special ball club, you know. So, um, yeah, any, anybody we play anywhere we go, you know, we're ready to go, you know, so. Aaron, you Glaber does so many things to help you guys win tonight with the bat and the glove so often. What's it like every day with him, and especially tonight? What's it like every day with him? With Glaber, yeah. The guy's a gamer. You know, he, like I said, he comes ready to play. You know, that's the thing I, I've noticed about him, man, even during the season. It could be, you know, April 1st or it could be, you know, October 10th, it doesn't matter. He's he's coming ready to play. He's going give, to give his all, and, and that's that's what you want out of your, you know, 22-year-old superstar. You mentioned uh, Tanaka strike ones tonight. It seemed also that you guys were hitting early in the count. I know part of that is probably Grinky isn't going to walk a lot of guys. Is also part of that being aggressive in this forum, in this ballpark, kind of setting a tone on both yeah. sides? Yeah, that's the biggest thing, trying to take the crowd out of it. You know, especially a guy like Grinky, who, who's got great command, is going to put it where he wants it. Uh, he's not always going to try to get ahead. So for us, you know, we were able to capitalize a lot on some early, early counts. And... Um, 
that's just what helped us win this ball game. You know, especially getting the crowd out of it early. That was that was the biggest thing. Aaron, did you notice Cleveland making the belt gesture around the bases? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's 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 done that a couple times now. But I, I love it, man. He, he, kid plays with confidence. He plays with fun. He always got a smile on his face, and you, know, you, you love seeing that, man. It pumps me up every single time, and I hope I want to see him do that every day. <laughs>